welcome to my channel my name is Shisong Otazi if this is your first time seeing me hi welcome and if you are a returning viewer hey hey welcome back thank you for coming back today is going to be a makeup look the kind of look that you can wear to work the kind of look you just put in immediately and jump to work so sit back watch and learn yeah you don't need to do too much you just need something minimal and popping at the same time so we are going to start off with the brows as always you'll be staying out all day long i have a hack for you first of all use your eyelash glue to glue down your brow hairs it's actually help your brows stay intact the whole day without moving so you don't need to adjust or touch up using the classic eyelash glue i'll just put it on because lash glue dry so fast you brush it the direction the direction you want your hair to be immediately before it dries up and i'll do the same for the other brows the second step to keep my brows lasting long is to use my setting powder set your brows when you set your brows it controls the oil so because you're staying out all day, you don't want the oil to be too much and for you to wear your makeup. So Julia has placed foundation and I'll be using my buffing brush to pick up a little bit, just a little bit. Don't waste your products. And then set. So I'll be using the Davis pencil and the Motec Beauty pencil. Because it's an office look, no dramatic brows, just something really natural and light. That means you're going to be very light with your pencil. It's in. I'm done feeling my brows but then a step i forgot like literally skips my mind is your skincare routine your skincare routine is very important since you're going to be out for the day you need your skincare routine so you're going to start by moisturizing so that's what two pumps and then moisturize my skin extend it to my neck because you're going out you need your spf to protect your skin from the sun damage I do use this Ultris SPF, so I'm just going to put in this and this. I don't do that too finger because I'm going to get oily and I do not want that. So like, maybe if you have the perfect foundation, sorry, the perfect sunscreen for the two finger wound, then go ahead, why not? Do you do your thing? So extend it into my neck also on my forehead and massage it in properly and moisturize my lips using my i use the vaseline lip balm i'll be using the pont oil cream pont oil cream is used for oil control to control oil it's basically a primer but an oil control primer Focus on your oily zone. If your T zone, that is here, this part of your face, this is the T zone. If it's usually more oily than the other parts, focus on that part while applying your oil control primer. But if your whole face is usually very oily, then of course, focus on your whole face. I'm going to apply my brows. I'm using the flawless IV concealer. The camouflage concealer I'm done with my brows and I'll go over to my eyeshadow for the shadow the first step is to prime your eyes I'll just use my finger throw this in 
before blending it out with a brush I'm almost out of eyeshadow primer the reason why you use an eyeshadow primer is it makes your color pop and then it also makes your eyeshadow to last longer I'll go in with my powder before going in with the eyeshadow the reason why you do this is because your eyeshadow primer is cream and your and your eyeshadow is powder so you need to set it properly so that it can sit on the powdered base because when you go in straight to the cream once you put the color it just sticks like that blending it is going to be difficult i'm using a lighter powder to highlight my brow bone For the eyeshadow, I'll be using light colors. So I'll be using this coffee brown for my transition shade. I want to throw in a little bit of color. I'm using this shade, gold apple. I'm applying it all over on my eyelid. Then I'll go in with a little bit lighter gold just to lighten it up a bit. And that's it for my actual very simple and nice. But then I'm going to smoke out my liner parts first. I'm using a pencil brush and a black eyeliner. Black eyeshadow, sorry. I'm going in with my mascara. I'll pop on my lashes. I mixed the Zikel Place. What they call it? Zikel Foundation and Juvia's Place Foundation. I'm not using much because it's an everyday look. Then I'll highlight. foundation brush and buff everything I'll go in with my powder to set it I'll be using my face powder first before going with my second powder that was my setting powder Then I will contour. Then I will contour my nose. While contouring, contouring your nose, connect it to your eyeshadow. I'm using a pink blush 
because I don't want it to be too much. When I apply it into the brush, I will dust it on my hands, then use the remaining on my cheeks. So I'm just going to blend everything in using my face powder. Going with the setting spray just to set everything. I also make my makeup last longer. Another trick that will also make your makeup last longer is after spraying your face with your setting spray or your fix spray, use a little blender and press it. Press it. With this, it breaks down the makeup faster. I also like kind of pressing it into your skin. Therefore, your skin work. And your makeup is definitely going to last the whole day when you do this. I'm using this palette for my highlighter. I'm going with this daydream shade because I don't want so much glow, just something soft and minimal. Now that I'm done with my highlights, I'll just use my mascara for my bottom lashes i need to be careful just ensure that i do not stain my skin work and i'll do my lips but lips have been an ombre look i'm using this pinky shred for my lip contour I'll use this lip brush to blend them together. Then I'll pop on my lip gloss. for this look then i'm going to dress up and jump right to work <laughs> 